and she was sane and she was sober when I met her. <laughs> and I was single at the time, and when you're my age, if a woman that young and that hot is interested in you, you have to hook up with that, because other dudes my age will kick the shit out of me if I don't, right? <laughs> You're gonna die someday. What's wrong with you? Don't let that go. Let me explain something to you before I tell you this joke. Um, in love, as in many things, anything can be good, anything can be bad. It's all about context, right? With some women, when you're love making, if you pull their hair, they like it better. But if you just go running around Albertsons pulling people's hair, <laughs> They're going to punch you in the dick sooner than later. <laughs> now, there's some men, it's a small minority, but there's a couple of men in the world, and all they want to do when they get home to their lady is just bury their face right in that musty, clammy part. They just want to <laughs> get right in there. And, get, and that's what they dream about. That's how they spend their day. At the same time, if that guy's sitting at Subway having a sandwich and you run up to him and just slap him in the face with a vagina, he's going to be like, hey, let me get my head in the game. What are you? What's wrong with you? And like most of sex, like 75, 85% of sex is putting a penis in a hole. There's like maybe 10, 15% that's putting a hole next to a hole, and that's great. But most of sex, a lot of sex, is putting a penis in a hole. And if you have the right combination of holes, you don't have to be that magically delicious to run up with to anybody with a penis and go, I'd like to put that penis in one of these holes. And they will go, I got five minutes, don't tell anybody. <laughs> At the same time, three dudes with ski masks and assault rifles run up to you with a bag with a hole in it and go, put your dick in that hole. You'd be like, whoa! <laughs> Anything could be good, anything could be bad. This girl, she likes to drink, man. And some people, when they drink, like, oh, you had one drink, she's, she's a blast. Some people, oh, she had five drinks, nothing happened. This girl, like, do you have the friend where it turns into babysitting? You know what I'm talking about they get a couple of shots and they're like, oh, this is awesome. Thank God for doing this. Over the course of this relationship, I got to say out loud to an adult with a driver's license, you can't sleep naked in the back of my car. It's 40 below. You'll freeze to death. I got to say, did you wake up in the middle of the night, almost burn down my kitchen making a grilled cheese and leave me a plate full of ketchup? The last time we go out, we go to a karaoke bar. I'm not a physicist, but there is only so many jello shots that you can shove into a human body before it becomes a problem. So I, um, I literally carry her home. I put her in bed. I'm not a creeper. She's passed out, but she goes, stay. And I go, titties. And then um, I go on an emotional roller coaster. It starts way down here at four in the morning. Oh shit, I wet the bed. And then we go all the way up here to, oh thank God I didn't wet the bed. And then we crash back down to, ah shit, she wet the bed. <laughs> Look, there are vending machines in Japan that are full of hot white girl urine soaked drunk panties that people spend a lot of money on, okay? This might be my favorite thing in the world, but you have to give me a heads up before we get the shot. <laughs> <laughs>